Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Fantastic. Yeah. How are you? Good. <laughs> Let's tell these people what we do here. Uh, we come to this place in Bali, a really special place. It's pretty magical. Not a lot of people know about this place, but um, we have the ocean here. We can't see in the camera, but it's right here. And it's beautiful. It's one of the most consistent places to surf. Uh, so if you like surfing, that's a bonus. If not, you swim in the river, you enjoy the nature, you eat incredible food, and we do the practice together, the practice of yoga and Thai massage. Yeah, we do a lot of Thai massage. We do a lot of um, meditation. And basically, we're gonna learn how to connect with ourselves. Um, just how you move, using some principles to give good Thai massage without getting tired. You don't really need to have some experience or you don't really need to to want to become a therapist. So this technique, this massage, something that is very nice for yourself. When you're giving Thai massage, you're giving so good to yourself. So that's why everybody fall in love with this technique. And at the end of the retreat, everybody loves Thai massage. And also start loving themselves really more. How long have you been doing this? Ooh, long time. Yeah? Like, yeah, maybe 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Where did you start? Start here, in Bali. So now I'm happy to come to Bali and start teaching. Basically, I learned a lot in Thailand with my main teacher, Itza Gelman, and the people from Sunshine Network. Been doing beginner's course heaps of times and then start assisting where I learned everything. And then, yeah, happy to to grow people into Thai massage, beginners and people that they already therapist and want to learn something, something different. That's um, what a day looks like, yeah. Yeah. So we get up early in the morning. Very early, it's yeah. 6 o'clock. Into the space that overlooks the ocean, the jungle, the trees, okay. and we do our yoga. We do a practice moving, breathing, meditation to get in touch with ourselves and the space around have a wonderful breakfast in silence. Uh, silence is another great way to kind of get in tune with our subtle body. And then we meet here and have our Thai practice in the morning. Yeah. Thai massage practice. Six hours a day, full on. It's not that full on, yeah? <laughs> Half the time you're getting a massage. Yes. So for three hours, yeah, that means one and a half hours you're getting massaged. The other half, you're doing massage, which actually can be as relaxing and probably more energizing than getting massage because you do the massage. It's like you're getting a yoga practice, you're breathing, it feels really good. That's what people are most surprised about, how good it feels to give a massage. Because not only are you benefiting the body, the muscles in a way that keeps us balanced, but we're connecting yeah? emotionally, spiritually to ourselves, to the person we're working on, to all the people around. Then we eat again. <laughs> He's Another my best student, meal. man. He's my best student. He learned everything so good. <laughs> Try. Have another great meal. Come back here in the afternoon. Get massaged again. Give massage again. And then it's dinner time. Another wonderful organic meal. The sunset on the beach. Oh, yeah. We have amazing sunsets on the beach after class. You can just relax, swim. So the beach, we can just walk it's through. It's minute. about five seconds to walk through. Well, five seconds. And it's a wonderful uh, black sand beach and kind of special here in Bali because there's not many beaches here where you can walk and enjoy the beach without lots of people trying to sell you hammocks and watches and paint your nails and braid your hair. Um, so we can really just enjoy the beach. And one of the nicest things that happens here is, okay, we learn Thai massage, we learn yoga, that's all great. But we really learn about us ourselves and become like a family. And nobody want to leave. After yeah, that. I don't want to leave. We're still I don't want to leave neither. <laughs> I have to go to Thailand. I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> uh, we were early to the bed, like nine o'clock, because everybody is tired and we wake up so early. And we also do some kirtan singing. Uh, yeah. Except for last night, we didn't go to bed so early because we were eating chocolate. dragon fruit with chocolate and coconut. Raw chocolate. Oh. 
that was amazing. Everybody brings his own energy and every retreat is super different, it depends what you bring into it. So, it's very magic. Yeah. Quite magic. Mm -hmm.